catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. He never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the era, you name it. Once the kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. City had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found, neither. So what the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years. History of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. How there, a kid learned to fend for himself, learned to build, learned to break. standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. shuddered, cracked, and split apart. He 
saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Finally arrived at Ceylandia's vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. But then, all he got was more thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. I'd like to say I'll never forget him, or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would.